My husband said, I've got a new family, so get out, lol. What happened next? The words echoed in Emily's mind like a broken record. I've got a new family, so get out, lol. Her husband, Mark, had said it so casually, as if it were a joke. But the look in his eyes told her otherwise. There was no humor there, only cold detachment. Emily stood frozen in the living room, her suitcase half-packed on the floor. This was their home, where they'd shared laughter, tears, and countless memories for the past ten years. She couldn't believe it was ending like this. Mark, what are you talking about? She finally managed to say, her voice trembling. He shrugged, not meeting her gaze. I met someone else. We have kids now. It's better if you just leave. But what about us? What about everything we've built together? He glanced at her, a flicker of irritation crossing his face. Emily, don't make this harder than it needs to be. It's over. Her heart shattered. She felt as though she were watching this scene unfold from outside her own body, like it was happening to someone else. How could he discard her so easily? Without another word, Mark turned and walked out of the room, leaving Emily standing amidst the remnants of their life together. The Aftermath The days that followed were a blur. Emily moved out of their home and into a small apartment downtown. The change was jarring, but she knew she had to keep moving forward. She couldn't let this break her. One evening, while she was unpacking, Emily found an old photo album. It was filled with pictures of her and Mark, from their early dating days to their wedding and beyond. Tears welled up in her eyes as she flipped through the pages, remembering the love they once shared. Suddenly, her phone buzzed. It was a message from an unknown number. Emily, it's Sandra. I need to talk to you about Mark. Sandra? The name sounded familiar, but Emily couldn't place it. Curiosity peaked, she replied setting up a meeting at a nearby cafe. The meeting. Sandra was already seated when Emily arrived, a nervous look on her face. She was a striking woman, with an air of confidence that Emily couldn't help but envy. Emily, I'm so sorry to contact you like this, Sandra began, but you need to know the truth about Mark. Emily's heart raced. What more could there be to know? Go on! she urged. Sandra took a deep breath. Mark and I, we've been seeing each other for the past year. He told me he was divorced. Emily felt a pang of betrayal all over again. He lied, she said flatly. Sandra nodded, guilt written all over her face. I didn't know until recently, I swear, but that's not all. Mark is in serious trouble, financially, He's been embezzling money from his company, and I think he's planning to flee the country. Emily's mind reeled. This was too much to process. Why are you telling me this? Because, Sandra said, her voice breaking, I don't want to be part of his lies anymore. I thought you deserved to know the truth, and I want to help you, if you'll let me. A plan forms. With Sandra's help, Emily gathered the evidence needed to expose Mark's crimes. It was a difficult decision, but she knew it was the right one. She couldn't let him continue to hurt others the way he had hurt her. They spent long nights going through financial records and emails, piecing together the trail of deceit. Sandra, who worked in finance, had access to some of Mark's accounts. She showed Emily how Mark had been siphoning money into offshore accounts preparing for a life far away from his responsibilities and crimes. The more they uncovered, the more Emily realized how little she had truly known the man she had married. The betrayal cut deep, but the work gave her a sense of purpose. She was no longer a helpless victim. She was taking control of her destiny. The Confrontation One afternoon, as Emily and Sandra were finalizing their evidence, Emily received a call from Mark. His voice was tense, a stark contrast to his earlier nonchalance. Emily, I need to see you, he said. It's urgent. She agreed to meet him at a public park, the familiarity of the place contrasting sharply with the situation. When she arrived, she found him pacing nervously. 
What's going on, Mark? she asked, trying to keep her voice steady. Emily, I made a mistake, he said, his eyes darting around. I'm in trouble. I need your help. For a moment she felt a pang of the old affection, the instinct to support him in times of trouble. But then she remembered Sandra's words and the evidence they had gathered. Help you? she said, her voice icy. Like how you helped me by destroying our marriage and lying about everything? His face paled. You don't understand. I was trying to protect you. Protect me? Emily laughed bitterly. By throwing me out and replacing me with a new family? Mark's facade crumbled. I'm sorry, he whispered. I thought I could fix it before you found out. But I did find out, Mark. And now you have to face the consequences. With that, Emily walked away, leaving Mark to his fate. She had made her peace with the past and was ready to move forward. The Legal Battle The authorities acted quickly. Mark was arrested and charged with embezzlement, facing a long prison sentence. Emily felt a strange mix of relief and sadness. The man she had loved was gone, replaced by someone she barely recognized. The trial was long and grueling. Emily had to testify, reliving the painful memories and exposing the deceit that had shattered her life. But she found strength in Sandra, who stood by her side throughout the ordeal. The media frenzy was overwhelming, but Emily kept her composure. She knew that speaking out was important, not just for her own closure, but to prevent Mark from harming others. A New Beginning in the months that followed, Emily and Sandra formed an unlikely friendship. They supported each other through the difficult times, finding strength in their shared experience. Emily also started therapy, determined to heal and rebuild her life. Eventually, she returned to her passion for painting, something she had neglected during her marriage. Her work, filled with raw emotion and vibrant colors, began to gain attention. It was a form of therapy, allowing her to express what words could not. Emily poured her heart into her art, creating pieces that spoke to her journey of pain, betrayal, and ultimately, healing. Her work resonated with many, and she began to receive invitations to showcase her art at various galleries. One day, as she was setting up for an exhibition, a man approached her. He introduced himself as David, a gallery owner who had been following her work for some time. Your paintings are incredible, he said. They tell such a powerful story. I'd love to feature your work in my gallery. Emily smiled, feeling a sense of accomplishment. She had turned her pain into something beautiful, something that could inspire others. Epilogue Years later, as Emily stood in her own art gallery, surrounded by people admiring her work, she realized how far she had come. The pain of the past had not disappeared, but it had transformed her, making her stronger, more resilient. She no longer saw herself as a victim of Mark's betrayal. Instead, she was a survivor, an artist, and most importantly, someone who had reclaimed her life on her own terms. The words that once haunted her were now a distant memory, overshadowed by the vibrant tapestry of her new life. Emily smiled knowing that she had found her true self amidst the chaos. And that was something no one could ever take away from her. Her journey had been fraught with challenges, but she emerged from the darkness stronger than ever. And as she looked around her gallery, filled with art that captured the essence of her soul, she knew that she had not only survived, but thrived. She had built a new life, one filled with passion, purpose, and the kind of love that comes from within. And that, she realized, was the greatest victory of all. In my husband said, I've got a new family, so get out, lol. What happened next? Emily's world shatters when her husband Mark abruptly ends their marriage, claiming he has a new family. Reeling from the shock, Emily discovers that Mark has not only been unfaithful, but is also involved in serious financial crimes. With the unexpected help of Sandra, Mark's unsuspecting mistress, Emily unravels the web of deceit and brings Mark to justice. Through the ordeal, Emily finds strength in friendship and her passion for painting. 
ultimately transforming her pain into a new beginning. This story is a compelling journey of betrayal, resilience, and the power of reclaiming one's life.